Oh. Well, I thought I would show you my KitchenAid mixer, and while I was doing that, I thought I'd make a pan of cornbread from the cornmeal that we grind. Um, it's homemade, so I thought I'd let you see. This is the cornmeal. Take about a cup, cup and a half-ish. I'm going to take about three-fourths of a cup. This is a third cup, so I usually do like two of these and a little more. Or no, like two bacon. Sorry, I'm doing this by memory. Two bacon. Two, one. Bacon. Soda. Grayson, please get out of the flour. Let's do that. Grayson. Um, then, a pinch of salt. Thank you. And then I do a little bit of sour cream. I hear that. Then I also stay there for a second. Let me grab me some oil. I need some corn oil. And then instead of milk, um, when I want hot cornbread, I take and do cream corn, about a half a can. And then I'm going to go ahead and let that be mixing. So let's just see that mixing for just a second. Fresh red pepper. Grayson, honey, I love you, but you can't see in this right now. Okay, two, basically two handfuls of onions in it, kind of just to taste for whoever's eating it. Me and Nathan like stuff hot, so. I have fresh jalapenos, so uh, you can shred those instead, and it makes it a really good flavor. But I like my KitchenAid, it mixes, it pretty much evenly distributes all of it. Um, let me get down in there. And then it has a release. Off. And then I have my dough. 
also <laughs> have my little boy who loves to apparently uh, get up in here. Watch out, Gray. I gotta get in the oven. I also, another thing about cornbread, we make it in a cast iron pan. Always. And yep. it's hot. And when we make it, I like to put bacon grease in my pan and let it heat and then pour my meal into the bacon grease. I got some blue bubble on the side. Ew. Nasty. Grayson says it's nasty. Normally, if I'm kicking, Grayson's nowhere near me. Drinks! Means I'm I doing something this. different. He's going to be right here. With me. No. I'm, I'm a big fan of Pamper Chef items. I've bought a ton of Pamper Chef over the years. Most of our things in our kitchen are Pamper Chef, uh, with the exception of my Lodge cast iron and my uh, right away cookware. I'm also going to make um, crap weenies. But here's the thing. So this is a question for people. This is my homemade crap. But if you'll notice the rings always rust and I cannot get them off. So I end up having to basically cut these suckers off to get them loose. So if you know a way to keep it from happening, if you know a way to get them off without having to cut them off, um, comment in the section where the comments can be done and let me know. But thanks for watching and after the cornbread's had about 25 minutes to bake, we'll do a second part video and show you what it turned out and we'll show you the rest of supper. Thanks!